So the same systems and structures, be that patriarchy, racism, casteism, or religious differences, or any political differences that divide us over the years have found its root and positions in technology and tech related spaces. Now this automatically means that we are going into a social order in a different arena with the same inequalities in place. Technology has the power to empower, but that power to empower will remain hidden as long as it remains couched in the systems and structural violence that have embraced and normalized certain forms of violence offline. Now, society has traditionally been patriarchal. Misogyny prevails more in terms of the norm rather than the exception. The dominance of the male identity to the discrimination or outright exclusion and violence toward other identities continues to pervade the internet as a public space as well. Now, given this, we see manifestations in all areas of technology. Think about artificial intelligence. It is gendered from the get-go. Credit scores in the banking sector have oftentimes excluded women or offered bizarre credit scores for non-binary people simply because it is taught to assume that the male is the dominant in borrowing a loan. Virtual assistant technology is gendered. I want you to just think about it for a minute. You have Siri, you have Cortana, you have Alexa, you have Google Assistant. Just think of their voices, all female or associated with the social construct of the female identity. From that, think about the dynamics that operate, which means that a woman, an entrepreneur, first generation entrepreneur in her family, a non-binary person seeking emancipation from a family that has misgendered them for years, is never going to be able to find a bank loan because artificial intelligence has decided that they are not credit worthy. In creating, crafting, using, or instrumentalizing technology, can we prioritize impact over intent?